I've had an idea for quite a while now. I've just given it a try and it actually works. You're right, I'm yeah, I'm Average Joel. A few years ago now, I uploaded a video, how to hide a screw. It was basically chiseling back a bit of wood, put your screw in, little bit of wood glue, fold that wood back down, and now the screw's hidden and you've got a perfect grain match. Dead simple. It went down really well, people liked the tip. I think a lot of people have been using it as well. But off the back of that, I've been trying to think of different applications for it. And that's what turned my attention to pocket holes. I think pocket hole screws are great. I've got a jig myself, this is the Craig jig. I've got it mounted to a board just to make it a little bit easier to use. It's a really strong joint considering it's only a screw. But the only problem with it, it leaves quite an ugly hole. It's kind of an oval shape, quite big. You can buy plugs to actually fill it. And you can also fill it with wood glue and sawdust, regular wood filler paint over it that kind of thing but that's what got me thinking what if i could use the tip of like beveling up a little bit of wood do your pocket hole and then glue that bit of wood back down so that's why i came up with this it's literally a block plane with an old drilled in it here's how it works This is obviously a really crude prototype. It's a dirt cheap wooden block plane that I got off Amazon with a hole drilled in it, but I think it proves the concept. I could see this being added to existing jigs really easily. I'd really appreciate everyone's feedback in the comments down below. If you can share this round as well, that would be a massive help to me. I haven't got a clue where to go from here, so any advice is greatly appreciated. If there's any tool companies out there that happen to see this video and you'd like to try and develop this with me, because I haven't got a clue what to do. I'm just an average Joe after all, but I think it's got a lot of potential and I think it would be a really useful tool to have in the workshop so thank you all for watching give it a thumbs up if you liked it give it a thumbs down if you didn't like it please share please subscribe I'll catch you on the next one